Hello and welcome to the next episode of vivekmerotra.com. In our last episode, we have seen how perception can change the meaning of our communication entirely, though the situation remains the same. In this episode, we will discuss another barrier that we face in our day-to-day life while communicating with others, and this is distortion. Now, distortion occurs due to the miss interpretation of reality now why this misinterpretation takes place in order to understand this we will have to first understand the normal physiology of human brain whenever we receive a message from any of our sense organ it is first sent to the hypothalamus which is the relay center of our brain hypothalamus sends it to the respective site in our brain which are called as lobes for example when we see an object an inverted image of the object is created on the screen of our eye that is retina from where the message goes to hypothalamus which further sends it to the occipital lobe where it is synthesized and interpreted and we see the image in its actual form now this process continues flawlessly throughout our lifetime until we face a phenomena called amygdala leakage or amygdala hijack. Now what is this amygdala leakage? Well, amygdala is the most primitive but a very important organ in our brain. This is the seat of all emotions. All our memories, good, not so good or maybe bad are stored in the form of emotions in amygdala. Research have proved that while hypothalamus sends the information to the respective lobe, the infer- earlier information is stored in amygdala get leaked and get mixed with it. And that exactly results into distortion. Take a classic example of a person who sees a rope in the dark and consider it is as a snake. Now we were told in our childhood do not go to the rooftop or to the garden in dark because there may be snakes. Now this information was stored in our amygdala in the form of an emotion called fear. And when today someone sees a rope in the dark, the by the time this information reaches to occipital lobe, the earlier information or the emotion of fear which is stored in our amygdala get leaked with it and mixed with it. And as a result, what we see is a snake, not a rope because we had information in amygdala that the snakes also like this. By the way, this does not limit only to such situation. This happens in almost all spheres of our life. Especially while interacting with others, maybe our professional colleagues, both junior or senior, maybe our personal friends, maybe our relatives, or the most significant, our spouse and the children. While interacting with them, this phenomena does take place. While we interact with the person, we listen and interpret the words of the person on the basis of our earlier emotions. If our earlier emotions are good, if our experiences with the person is good and we enjoy a good relationship with that person, then whatever the person says, we like it and we accept it. We might even ignore certain misdoing of the person. We don't mind certain words which might have hurt us otherwise. On the contrary, if a person we do not like, if we do not enjoy a good relationship with the person, or if our earlier experiences with the persons are not good, in that situation, even if the person is talking good for us, is talking of something our benefit, we might take otherwise. So. The question arises, how can we minimize this amygdala leakage? Well, there is no hard and fast rule, there is no fixed procedure. But what we can certainly do is 
that instead of reacting immediately to the words spoken by the person we should reflect upon the reasons for a person to say those words and if we try to understand the meaning behind the words of the person we will always get the actual meaning the person wanted to convey to us it would be a good idea that after the interaction is over if we can ponder for a while and try to reflect upon the words spoken by the person and the possible reasons for him to use those words we might get a better understanding of what the person was trying to communicate to us in most of such situation this will not only help us to get the right message but will also help us to improve our relationship with the person thank you very much for watching this video if you like my video please do subscribe to my youtube channel vivekperotra.com